I've made a start by crudely painting the whole scene in very thin oil paint just to get rid of the white board and give me a sense of uh, what's going on. Then as always I'll start with the sky and I'm going to paint the sky in multiple levels. The first one being the lower half of the sky as there is a sort of a clear division between the large cloud covering the, the top and the cloud free mostly cloud free area below in the cloud free area there's a, a blue graduation from a very gray faint blue down to the, the yellows and oranges of the sunset colors so I've mixed three colors the blue the sunset yellow orange and and one that's uh, midway between them and I'm going to constantly brush across the sky mixing those colors as I go Now while this background graduation is still wet, I'm going to put these long thin clouds in. The wet paint below will slightly merge with what I'm putting on top and give the edge a little bit of feathering as I don't want a perfectly crisp edge. The boundary between the large cloud at the top and the graduated sky below is almost sharp but not quite. So while the graduated part is semi-dry I'm going to paint the, this boundary and being semi-dry below it will only slightly merge with it so it'll be almost a sharp line but not quite which is what we're after. Here I've got to be a bit careful as the sky below isn't totally dry yet but I'm going to take the opportunity to do a very quick rough pass of the clouds above and I've mixed up three or four colours I found in those clouds and I'm just going to put them crudely in place and let it all merge together. This upper sky, the uh, upper cloud, is going to take quite a lot of layers and each one will dry in between.
I've let everything dry and I'm now going to have a second go at the upper clouds which will add to the complexity and refine the colours a bit better. Now the lower clouds are getting their second pass. Pay close attention to your reference photo and keep checking you've mixed the right colour. At the moment you've got to keep in mind that the sea and the land and the buildings are far too light. So it's giving the illusion that the sky is darker than it is. So trust the colour mixing and don't be fooled by the overall impression. Another layer, another level of refinement. The clouds above the sun are really quite bright and I can't go beyond pure white for brightness but the reference photo which I'm viewing on a computer screen does appear brighter than white because it is a light source, the screen. And that does cause some difficulties in mixing colours. So as, you, as on the actual painting, it's impossible to go beyond pure white. The only way to make something brighter is to put a darker colour next to it. So here I'm playing with the position of colours to try and get that feeling of a glow. Everything has been left to dry again, ready for the next layer. I'm able to do this in reasonable time because I'm using the 
Winston Newton Griffin oil colours which are alkyds and fast drying so I only have to wait two to three hours between layers. If I was using normal oil colours I'd probably have to give it a good day or two between layers and the whole thing would take ages. But here I'm getting closer to the real refinement stages where I'm just putting little bits of colour in spots and then blending them out trying to build the shapes in the clouds. The far hills have quite a bit of the light spilling over them so I'm just taking the opportunity here to paint them in so I can later overlay them with the rays of the sun. Here I've taken very little colour, heavily thinned out with solvent and I'm using white spirit here. I'm just going to try and uh, paint the rays in a very subtle way. I'm now getting down to the fine little details in the clouds, particularly where little veins of light are poking through. I'm now going to paint more of the background hills as they too have some sun spilling over them. Plus it would be nice to uh, see a crisp edge against the sky, a dark edge, which will help to assess the overall tonal balance of the sky.
I've let the background hills completely dry and now I'm just going to paint the light spilling over those hills with a very thinned paint mix. The effect is very subtle so I don't want to overdo it. I'm calling the sky finished for now but I do want to assess just how bright it will look in the finished painting so I've taken it into an image editing program and just crudely masked off the rest of the painting and darkened it to roughly the level it will be and I think you can see as soon as you darken the rest of the landscape the sky suddenly brightens as everything in the painting is reliant on everything else. I do hope uh, you found something useful in this video and if you did please consider liking and subscribing if you haven't already and don't forget to press the notification bell so you won't miss the next instalment where I'll be tackling the sea. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you on the next video. Bye.